Hello, I'm Alan Fulton. I'm a farm advisor and specialize in irrigation and water resources. I work in the northern Sacramento Valley, I'm employed with the University of California Cooperative Extension, and my office is in Red Bluff, California. Over the years, I've developed an interest in midday stem water potential as a water management tool. I find it brings some strengths that and that complement and add to um, some of our other information that we use in irrigation management, such as ET information and soil moisture monitoring. Particularly interested in the, the midday stem water potential because it's an integrated measurement of the soil moisture and the weather which the tree is growing in, and it reflects as well the water management decisions that are being made. We are in an almond orchard in the northern Sacramento Valley in Tehama County and we are here today to talk about how to take midday stem water potential measurements in almond for irrigation management. So to start with, to take the measurement, the first, the first question is to select a representative leaf. I'm looking for a leaf that's in the lower canopy, generally shaded, fully expanded, and, and mature. I'm trying to avoid tears, holes, rips, um, and older leaves that look like they're beginning to senesce. So as I approach this branch, any of these leaves in here would work just fine. I'll probably go with this one for now. So the first step, we're going to cover the almond leaf with a foil bag. And we will leave this foil bag on for a minimum of 10 minutes. So the foil bag is actually an important step. Um, what is happening is the leaf is inside this bag is now being cut off from sunlight and it is kind of behaving as if it is nighttime and it is not transpiring. What it's allowing it to do is uh, equilibrate its water relations with the larger uh, part of the canopy around it and the purpose in doing this is to give it get a better sample one that um, is the measurements are more repeatable and give us more confidence if you use an unbag leaf you increase the risk of getting variability just due to the individual characteristics of that leaf how it's exposed to heat sunlight and different things. So we've found over time that this technique helps improve our data, improves our ability to interpret it to make irrigation decisions. So we're back here about 15 minutes after we put the foil bag on the sample leaf. I might mention uh, before I cut the leaf from the tree that it is okay to have the foil bag for on for longer than the 10 minutes. So now we're going to cut the leaf from the tree and once cut I'm going to take it to the pressure chamber to measure the midday stem water potential level. So in cutting the leaf I'm cutting it near the spur. Uh, I'm interested in having a fairly long stem that helps with insertion into the pressure chamber. I'm also interested in trying to make a good clean cut and being gentle to not tear the leaf from the petiole as I'm cutting it. Okay, so now we are at the pressure chamber itself ready to take the midday stem water potential measurement. One, a couple uh, suggestions. Before cutting the leaf and before coming back to the pressure chamber, it is helpful to go ahead and have the pressure chamber tank on and to have the lid off of the chamber um, so that when you get here with the leaf, you're ready to insert it as quickly as possible to take the measurement. So once at the pressure chamber, take the lid, turn it upside down in the palm of your hand, insert the stem into the grommet. You'll notice that because of the way I folded the bag and the way the Velcro is placed and designed, uh, we kind of have a funnel type 
system that allows us to insert the bag and the stem as far into the chamber lid as possible. Now that it's resting against the palm of my hand, I can now take my free hand and tighten the top to hold the stem. When it's inserted correctly it will, and tightened, it will hang like this and is ready to be put into the chamber. Okay, so we're placing the lid on the chamber, pressing down and turning to lock the chamber and or the, the lid in place on onto the chamber. Check to see that the the uh, lid is on tight around the uh, stem. Being careful yet to not overdo it and crush the stem. Now we are ready to take the measurement. You'll see there are a few millimeters of stem protruding out of the, the well of the pressure chamber lid. Turn on the gas. You can hear a little bit of air leaking. So it can continue to tighten down. And I use the magnifying glass to watch for the end point. And glance at the, the pressure chamber at the same time. When I see the end point, I then switch from the chamber position to the off position to hold the measurement reading in place. And now you are ready to record your stress level, your midday stem water potential level for that particular tree. And in this case it reads 12 and a half bars. So now the reading is done. Um, all we do is exhaust the chamber, move the uh, switch to the exhaust position. You hear the, you hear the pressure exhaust down to zero. You can now remove the lid. Take the leaf out, and then I have kind of developed the habit to pull the leaf out, look at it, make sure I didn't tear it, crush the stem, and as long as it looks intact, the measurement's done, and the data is good, and that's the extent of a midday stem water potential measurement in almond. It's something that should be able, once you develop your technique, should be able to do within a minute's time from the time you start to uh, cut the leaf from the tree to the time you acquire the measurement. Alan, in, in regards to strategies or benefits for plant-based measurements, uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, over the years we've seen that midday stem water potential um, is actually it's a, a very quick, short plant measurement of plant response. The condition of the tree at the time you take the measurement. And it happens because it is a plant response, it correlates very closely with some of the objectives that we are after in growing almonds. It correlates with shoot growth to, and it, to set new fruiting wood. It uh, correlates with how the nut development progresses. Um, we know that we can manipulate crop stress to affect when all, uh, hull split begins. Um, we know we can manipulate crop stress to affect kernel fill. Um, in the end, uh, the biggest thing is, is we know that if we can use the crop stress indicator, or the plant-based measurement, to uh, help the tree to spend most of its growing life in a, well, uh, a nicely moderated stress level, um, not too wet, not too dry, and not bouncing back and forth between extremes, that we can probably uh, achieve more consistent production, both yield and quality, from one year to the next. And so it's with uh, these kinds of objectives and goals in mind that um, I've, over the years, invested time to develop the interest in midday stem water potential in almond.